Hello everyone. Alright, so I'm going to talk about what I was talking about in the last video, which was uh, why I haven't been making videos. The game in the background is Warhammer 40,000 Kill Team. I just did it first impressions of it. I didn't like it. <laughs> I'm going to try to see if I can push my way through it, see if there's any better content. Again, that video was a first impression, so... There might, it might be a little bit better later on, but the thing is, like I said in the video, at the rate I was playing it, oh wow, and it just crashed. So as I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted by the game that just crashed. <laughs> yeah, you can see why I don't like it. I'm gonna see if I can, if it gets better later on in the Tyranids campaign. I, t I, I paid 10 bucks for this. I'm getting my values. I'm getting my money's worth. <laughs> So I'm going to talk to you today about some stuff, um, mainly the problem I was having, and uh, I'm going to talk to you about Watch Dogs, because I feel like it. I just bought it actually, impulse buy, because I have the job, I have some disposable income now, so, and you know, it'll, it'll be good for the channel, because it's, it's going to be, a it's a huge release of the year, I mean, people might, well, are pretty much going to tend to watch first impressions of it. Let's just look at my class here, doesn't matter, they all suck. So let's start by talking about the. By the way, the game is um, reuses so many assets; it's not even funny. It it um, it has an you know it, it just like this level. This first area looks like exactly like the like level one. This is level two, by the way. I I played part way through it, but anyway, uh, during uh, when I wasn't playing doing the when I wasn't recording the first impressions, uh, I was playing level 2 and I was just getting bored of that as well. I just did level 1 because it was slightly easier to do well, do commentary while while recording because you know, doing both is kind of difficult. I, would, I was actually dying a lot. <laughs> so anyway, so what's been happening? Well, I had an issue with my hard drive. Now, it might be because it's getting old-ish, even though I bought it last year. Like, because the spacing was filling up, but I really don't know. Basically, what, what happened is that my hard drive was a Seagate 2TB hard drive. And it sucks. I'm just going to fly out and say it sucks. So it had about 200 gigs free when I was trying to record. I think it even had like 220, 250 gigs at one point when I was trying to record. And what, ha what would happen is, is like the first 20 seconds of when I'm playing a game, or 15 seconds. I was able to actually post out small videos of just like glitches I, I, I did if, when I wasn't like uploading regular content. I would like just upload these videos and like they would it would work because it was 15 seconds long or 20 seconds but after like 30 seconds or something like that the frame rate just dropped to like 5 and 1. It, it was completely insane. Like it would not stay at 30 and I run a very good machine. I run an Intel Core i7 3770K with an AMD Gigabyte 7950, 16 gigs of RAM. Just that I guess the write speed of the hard drive was not cutting it, and I guess this combined with the space. So I'm like, okay, whatever. I might as well get a new hard drive. Maybe it's just because it's not a perfect hard drive or whatever. And like, I go to Best Buy, and I'm going over, and I'm kind of looking for Western Digital, okay? Like, like I said, I have Seagate now. The reason why I'm going for Western Digital is because it's mainly a... It's mainly used in PC ga in gaming rigs. It's a generally good company. I own a external hard drive. It's pretty good. I can't use that for the recording mode. Like, USB 3.0 is just not fast enough for even recording at 30 frames per second with fraps. So... I'm at Best Buy, and I look over at the hard drive section, and they have, like, Western Digital at the top, they're mildly expensive for what they are. 200 like, it's actually reasonable prices, $100 for 2TB hard drives, that's, that's not bad. And then it's like, there's one that's like, it's for gaming, specifically, and a bunch of other multitasking, all this kind of stuff, it's like 130 for 2 terabytes, fast write speed. Then I look below, and it's like, all these Seagate hard drives, they're like... Usually the scoundrels. There's like, like two and a half terabyte hard drives for like eight dollars. There's like five hundred gigabyte hard drives for like thirty bucks. It's like, Jesus, dude, that's dirt cheap. Why are they so cheap? And I was talking to one of the employees at Best Buy, 
And I was telling him, like, oh, I've been having issues with my hard drive, and, like, I'm wondering if it's either because I might need to buy a uh, hop hog PVR, which is something that'll capture through HDMI. Like, I was worried it was fraps. And the hard drive, so I was worried I would have to get, like, two new things, and I was talking with him, and he's like, well, I've been, I, I think you're better off just getting the Western, just getting the Western Digital. You don't really have to get the hop hog, because we've been getting a lot of the hard drives that have been going, going to GeekSwy, which is their, like, tech support kind of thing. They've been mostly Seagate hard drives, and they've been like defective, like a lot of the time. And I'm like, and we're talking. I'm th like, that's weird because the funny thing about Seagate, th this hard drive that I have, this isn't the first one I've gotten from Seagate. When I first built my ri my first rig, this is my first gaming build that I have. <laughs> um, the hard drive I put in there, it, I was getting like loose screens, and I'm like, what the hell's going on? So I did like some stability test, tests, and turns out, um, it failed a couple of them. So I sent it back, no biggie. Sometimes I have with computer hardware, you just have to test it. And I get it back, and it's defective. Fails the same amount of tests, get tons of blue screens. In fact, I think I even got more blue screens, I'm like, what the hell? So I sent it back again. I get another defective one. What the fuck? I send it back again. I get another defective one. So, uh, at this point, I decided to say fuck it. And I, you know, I, I, I cannot live with that. I, 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 this is like, my gaming PC is a lot of shit to me. I mean, bef this is before I did a lot of YouTube. I mean, I, I'm still not doing a lot now, but I'm doing a decent amount. I'm getting videos out, I'm actually, I'm, I'm buying video games, I bought this one just to review it, or do first impressions, I should say. So, what was it talking about, right, Seagate, so, I decided, fuck it, you know, I'm just gonna get an SSD, and I'm gonna use that until I get the new hard drives, and I'm gonna be able to just use that SSD sort of as a backup. SSDs, by the way, guys, if you uh, own a desktop game PC or even like some, some laptops where you can do it, install an SSD as your primary and then a, um, a, a regular hard drive as your secondary changes your life, I swear to god. Shit boots up so fast. Oh my god, it's just so amazing. And you can like, if you have a decent enough uh, SSD, like a, I got 120 gig, it's about, you're basically paying for every gig Unless it's like on a, on sale, you're pretty much paying one dollar per gig, and people are gonna be like, "Why don't I just buy like a 64 gigabyte memory stick or something?" It's even if you get USB 3.0, memory sticks are not that fat. It's not gonna be that fast. Like SSD with booting up, like takes seconds to get the OS. Like opening up applications and things faster. Plus, like when you like um, all your save games are saved to your C drive by default, which is your like if you do what I said, your SSD drive. So if you have, so basically all your games are saved to an SSD drive, meaning that unless the SSD drive is like defective, it's pretty much gonna last a very, very long time. You don't have to worry about it all, all of a sudden just not working at all one day, hopefully. I mean, you, like with the hard drives you can usually tell, regular ones. But some, even then, sometimes, like, there could be some kind of file corruption, and then shit goes south, and then you start losing game save files. <laughs> so, yeah, SSD, much faster, and, you know, I'm actually kind of thinking of getting a second. There was actually a deal on Amazon, a, a one terabyte SSD for $500, which, normally they'd be a thousand, but they'd be 500. I'm thinking, mm, man, I mean, if I didn't have uh, such a crap job, I might get it, just maybe, because... It could actually be useful for like having fast, like quicker loading times for these like YouTube videos. I would have to do like I usually I would probably leave the loading screens in the thing anyway, just to show how fast like screens are for like as an SSD, and then say, oh yeah, yeah, this game's actually running fast on my SSD, but it probably run, but that's because it's an SSD. It would run like like really slow in an HDD. So yeah. Uh, Seagate, though, <laughs> back to Seagate, yeah, I, I bought the Western Digital, it was 140 bucks, but, I mean, it, it, everything is, frames are just smooth as fuck, it is, it is quite good, and I'm happy with my purchase. So, 
on that note, when you're installing your new hard drives, make sure you have the boot order proper, in like, in proper order. I think something went wrong with my computer, I don't know what, but basically what happened was that um, I went home, put, so I have my SSD, I have my HDD, I have two more hard drives in there, they're pretty much for my old computers, one of them is like a, I can't remember, it's either 250 gigs or 500 gigs from my first computer I ever owned, it was, it's about, I just keep it in there, I don't know why. It doesn't even have anything on it. I had to wipe it, or I had a friend wipe it, and it's it's already going bad. It doesn't really matter. But anyway, so I removed that one and I put in this new one. Now the thing is that with strike, what, what's what, when you usually put in a new hard drive, the first thing you do is you you're supposed to have you're usually supposed to download like Windows or Macintosh or Mac OS or Linux on it. What you do is you, you boot it up to that hard drive, and then you, like, ha follow in step, have all the instructions, so you load off the operating system from, like, a USB or your CD drive. Now, the problem I had was when I, I did it, I didn't screw, I didn't choose the load, the load order of my hard drives, and, like, I guess... It's complicated if you don't know this, if you, like for people who are like, who have built PCs, they'll know what I'm talking about, having like, the boot different drives in the right order, like, you're like, what, what does it matter? Well, you have to have your solid state drive, you know, if you're using it as like a boot up drive, you have to have that as your primary, and then you have to have your storage drive, usually anywhere, but like, it, I don't know, whatever happened, something went wrong, whereas when I booted up, the hard drive, it's like it was getting my this down stuff, but like as soon as I booted it up, like five seconds, like I, I think I like looked away from my computer when I was booting it up, but it was already installing Windows. Which is weird, because I didn't even have the Windows 7 disk in my system, and nor did I authorize it. I didn't even say yes, continue, no, it, it, it did this. And so like, it's like installing, and it's like it's installed so quickly. I'm like clicking. Okay, so did did my other hard drive just pretty much like notice that I didn't have an OS on it, and then just took it, the OS and put it is now putting it on. It pretty much put most of it on the new hard drive already. Is it like that fast? Did Microsoft come out with a new update for it? I don't know. So I'm like, yeah, that's, that's pretty awesome. Okay, so what happened basically was that what I was looking at was not the new hard drive I put in. It was my other 2 terabyte hard drive, the Seagate one. So, not knowing this, and it's like, oh yeah, like, name your computer. So it was like, you know, your name PC, so Jake's PC is what I had it titled as. So... <laughs> So I named it, and then like, oh, and then like a couple minutes later, you know, it's restarting. And like I'm, I'm familiar with Windows 7, like you're downloading any operating system. It takes time. So I'm like waiting there for like 20 minutes, and then like, or 30 minutes, and then all of a sudden, my computer monitors just kind of shut off. My computer's still on, but it's not displaying anything. I'm trying to see if like I can get my monitors on it. They won't. They, like I mean, they'll turn on, but they won't display anything. And then I'm waiting. Like at that point, like. I've waited 30 more minutes after that happened, and just nothing. Like, nothing's happening. So I'm just, now I'm getting worried. So I shut it off, I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna do a clean restart. I go up into my computer, or I boot up regularly into my C drive. Or actually, no, sorry. I check my load order, and I realize I'm an idiot. I don't have the, it in the right load order. So I guess I'm in, so I guess I had my J drive, which is my 2 terabyte Seagate drive, the old one. In first, I think I'm not sure, but basically what happened, something wasn't there right right in the boot order, and it booted up to my Seagate hard drive for whatever reason. But I thought it was the new one, and when I renamed it, it it re it went over what was on my C, C drive or J drive. So basically, what happened was this: it overwrote my user file. Which user folder, I should say, which basically overload, which basically deleted my desktop, my desktop files, my documents, my downloads, my my videos, like all those folders, just everything, including a bunch of emulated games, 
even a bunch, like, my entire YouTube folder is gone. I kept it on the desktop of that drive, now on my solid state drive. So yeah, when I check my computer, I'm like, why do I have 400 gigs more free? So now instead of 200 gigs free, I have 600. I was very baffled, and then I realized, oh wow, and I'm looking for, like, the user. It's not there, it's this Jake's PC 2, I renamed Jake's PC 2, I'm like, oh god, it, it rewrote over, so, yeah, I'm, I'm, but, by the way, if you ever do lose a lot of data, you never really lose data unless you destroy your hard drive, or just, there are ways to recover data software, but it can be very expensive. But yeah, that's what happened. So I lost a lot of shit. I didn't lose my program files for some reason. <laughs> yeah, so that's weird. So what I, also what happened was that it wasn't my computer wasn't recognizing the other uh, drive. So I had to go into computer management, um, which is you search that and it uh, you can have it recognize it. I haven't installed any OS on it yet. But yeah, it's. It wasn't really great. I lost about 400 gigs of data, and like, I, the funny thing is, I think the data was just that. So like, I mean, I, I, it was just an issue with my the recording issue. I think it could have been resolved if I just deleted more stuff off the hard drive. You know, it's kind of difficult. But yeah, that 400 gigs of stuff. Uh, what was that 400 gigs? Um, fraps files, emulated games. I downloaded a lot of PS2 GameCube stuff. Uh, that was like about. 100 gigs worth at least, and yeah, just the, and like frap files were cute, so there was a couple hidden there maybe, like I didn't see, a bunch of YouTube videos that I kind of archived, yeah, it was, it's a lot, so, and probably some other important shit that I'm even forgetting, I still know what I've lost, so yeah, yeah it sucked, so, and I kind of did it, I was kind of all from nothing, because if it was, if it is true that that it was just my hard drive was too full, that's why craps didn't work so well, then I completely wasted. <laughs> but then again, it, that wouldn't have happened, that wouldn't have... I, I don't know. I... <laughs> yeah. J just be careful when you're installing these drives. Alright, what else? Watch dogs. So, I'm going to be... loading that up. I have... I have work today. I'm actually doing this video just before I go to work. I've been up all night. I can't sleep. So I'm going to be going to work, come back Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. I'm off. So Tuesday, Watch Dogs is coming out. I'm going to preload it. And hopefully, I'm just going to, like, I'm planning it. Like, so since I've slept up, I haven't slept all night. I'm going to crash and sleep all day Monday. Then stay up all night Tuesday. Sleep in Monday and hopefully get a V and like like while I'm do and play as much as I can on Tuesday. Then Wednesday sleep, have a good night's rest, sleep in most of the day, and then have my first impressions based off what I did on Tuesday. Yeah, I'll have a fresh mind about that because I, I don't want to stay up and do a video on it. It's just gonna like right now. I haven't been up that long. I've been up maybe like 15 hours. So yeah. I'm worried about Watch Dogs though. The PC port is what concern me, concerns me. Normally, Ubisoft games have like a third, like a uh, <laughs> I was gonna say third, thirty. I was gonna say thirty minutes, then thirty day, and I'm like, why don't I just say it? a one month delay of, from releasing? Like Assassin's Creed, Black Flag did this, I think. Um, Ghost Recon, uh, Future Soldier did this. I'll talk about that game some other day. That, <laughs> good God, I hate that game. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I I don't know about this. Like I've seen the PC requirements. I mean, I meet it, and I actually kind of like my processor. I have a 3770K. It requires a 3770. Uh, the difference is 3770K is more easier to overclock. It's it's pretty much designed to be overclocked. I don't know about. 3770 requires. I, I don't even know if you can overclock it without some issues, but yeah. Anyway, I'm I'm worried. I'm worried that it's gonna run like crap, and it doesn't even look very great. And like Ubisoft's been hyping it up for the next gen consoles, like oh, 1080p, 60 frames per second on the PlayStation 4, and then it's like it turned out. Everyone's just like, oh, I don't play pixels. I play games. Graphics don't matter to me. The game with graphics is fine. I'm like. 
the problem is that they hyped it to shit, and then it's like... The PS4 and Xbox One graphics look almost last gen in the daytime settings. In, in, in daytime. Nothing to say. What am I talking about? And then the PC is just gonna be like. I'm, I have a feeling the PC version is gonna run very poorly. Unless there's some kind of like special setting they have it for, they're not talking about it. Because, you know, Ubisoft thinks PC games are pirates. Which is retarded because. So many people pirate on consoles. And when you think about it, used games don't like like no money from a used game goes to the developer. So when you think about it, if you, if you consider not having buying something or getting something, acquiring an item, and no money going to the developer, you consider you can consider used games piracy. I mean, I I still like used games, but I mean the amount of bullshit. It's just like console gamers just. just Shout out, just it, it can get incredibly frustrating. And I like consoles, <laughs> I like consoles. I mean, I don't like the PS4 and Xbox One so far. I mean, I don't, I don't have them admittedly, but I don't like how you have to install discs, you have to play, you have to pay to play online, you have all these fucking updates when the PC has been getting what makes consoles so much more convenient. Controller support for most games, like this game. Like, Control support right out of the box. Uh, having better communities, like not having to pay for online. Like the Wii U is what I would consider the last regular console because these the PS4 and Xbox One, they're, they're not consoles. Like they're downgraded, unupgradable PCs. And I'm sorry if you like them. I mean I can see the potential. They're they they're decent devices for what they are, but like but as gaming consoles, I mean, they're not really gaming consoles anymore. But, and like people are like, oh, well, I don't want to pay like $700,000 to buy and build a game PC. It's like, no, you don't. That's, and it's like, oh, I don't want to upgrade my PC every two years. I'm like, I wish I could upgrade my PC every two years. That sounds amazing. It's so much fun upgrading them. But yeah, they're not expensive in the slightest. I mean, you can build a decent... You can build a PC for like $350 within a good integrated graphics chip, and then you can save up for a great GPU. You can get like 8 gigs of RAM, uh, I want to say a 500 pop... Uh, the fuck I was going to say about 500 power watt, no. 500 watt power supply. Um... Decent motherboard and integrated graphics, um, CPU combo. You can get, and, you know, say a good case. You can get like a lot of. If you compare prices, like with PCs and like just the PC parts, I mean, you can save so much money. And the thing is with PC gaming, it's like, I mean, I I'm able to get console games because like while I'm playing all my AAA games on the PC, getting them on Steam sales, getting them cheap. While all that's happening, like I want while I'm busy playing all these games that I would have never owned if I owned a console, and I'm not just talking about exclusives. Uh, all like while I'm playing all these games that I bought for the PC for much cheaper than console, or a system I don't have to pay online, pay for to play online, a bunch of mods, console prices, console games, exclusives, drop in prices. I'm doing this, so I can still buy games and support. The devs, the, the, the devs, no, the developers that I want to support. Like I recently got, I mean, I, when I say recently, I mean I say that recently, more like last year. I got uh, Sly Cooper: Thieves in Time and Ratchet and Clank uh, into the Nexus, which were at least now Sly Cooper retailed for like forty, Ratchet and Clank retailed for thirty. I got both of them for twenty. And Amazon had a deal where if you got um. Crack in time. Or, oh my god. This is, <laughs> this is why I'm not gonna do the Watch Dogs video when I'm like, when I haven't gotten sleep. Uh, when I got um, into the Nexus, I got a uh, voucher for Quest for Booty, which is another Ratchet and Clank game, which is one I didn't have. So I got 20 bucks. That was 20 bucks, and then the Sly Cooper game came with Vita Cross compatibility. So when I do get a video, which I'm hoping to get one soon. Um, yeah, and that was also twenty bucks. So I got them for forty when I could have gotten when they were seventy. Uh, 
like if I if I bought them on like on release day. So yeah, I saved 30 bucks right there. And what did I use with that 30 bucks? Bought more games on PC that were dirt cheap, and the cycle repeats itself. All right, I think I've gone on long, ugh, gone on long enough. Uh, yeah. This game still sucks, by the way. I mean, it's 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 mindless action. It's not. I mean, I, I you know maybe I'm I kind of judge it too harshly when I say it sucks. It's just like I mean, there's better games, and like it's it's just not this game, like making a game like this is not very difficult anymore. I don't know. All right. Well, see you guys next time. Hopefully, when I see you guys, it's either going to be doing a final impressions of this game, which mm, that doesn't look like it, because <laughs> I get I just don't see any point, or uh, most likely when I'm going to do uh, Watch Dogs, which will probably be up. I want to say one. Uh, I have work on Thursday. Normally, I don't, so this is gonna be very. I'm gonna have to just barely make it. I'm gonna. Just smash through that game on Tuesday night, get a good rest, on, and then play more on Wednesday. Probably, I'm hoping to get like five, six hours in. That's what I'm planning on getting. And I will most likely get a final impressions of that game, as in I'll do another video. And that's what I'm, I'm not gonna call my videos after my first impressions of reviews. I'm doing it on the same game. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna call it final impressions probably. Fits with the name a little bit better. All right. Thank you for watching, I'm out, and <laughs> this is why I'm not going to do it at 2 a.m., at, like, at Watch Dogs at like 2 a.m. in the morning. God, alright, thank you for supporting my channel, goodbye, have a good one.